Hi all, in this video we are going to learn about the formatted output. So let's see. Let's say we have a program, very simple program to display um, the prices or the cost after we bought something. This example shows CKO Donuts 3.6. Meaning 3.6 over here, we can assume that it is a price, 3 ringgit 60 cent. But there is missing 0 at the back of 6 and then uh, follow with uh, Choco Muffin. Uh, Choco Muffin, 6, 6 ringgit 80 cent, and so on. And end up, the total price is 20 ringgit, 22 ringgit. So this is the example of unformatted output, where that's not look uh, professional. In order to make this much more professional, if we involve some cases or some programs, especially for the account-based one, we may have changed to this format, where the prices will be displayed with two decimal points, 3 ringgit 60 cent, and so on. And after we sum it, the output will be like this. Okay, so all of these decimal point, the point will be exactly arranged uh, in a proper way, in a proper order. So in order to do that, we have to learn how to format the output. The syntax is involved is quite simple. First one is called fix. We have to inform the compiler that uh, this output is fixed as required setting. And usually we will follow with set the precisions. And with an integer, this integer represents how many decimal points you need. So that um, we, we, we will combine them uh, in one line so that we can set the output. Next is set the width. Set the width means we will fix the width of the text uh, output text. So we know how many spaces we need and then how to adjust it. And don't forget, if you want to apply these three uh, syntax, you must include a header file called input output manipulator. Let's go to try for the fix and set precisions first before we go for set w. We've referred to the we've referred to the example I showed you just now in the PowerPoint slide. So this is the coding that I've prepared. Let's see the output. Okay, so the output represents the CKO donut 3 ringgit 60. You found that actually I have defined that donut. 3.60 but when we see out it it only show 3.6 because zero usually we will remove it okay so that the compiler also know about that and then it remove all of the zero 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 and in here in the coding this is what we type total expenses the number of expenses and then the total and so on so now we want to set the precisions to two decimal point what should we do is, first thing is, include the header file. Include the header file. I have included it. Input output manipulator. After you include the header file, we have to set the fix and the precisions. So we tell the compiler during C out, please fix it and set the precision. Set the precision. And we are the one who determine how many decimal points you want. So if you want to put two decimal points, then set two. Let's compile and run again to see the difference. You found that now all prices set to two uh, decimal point. Okay, exactly like this one. But what will happen if we set to three decimal point? We put three, compile and run again. It will show three decimal point. So this is how we use fix and set precisions two. So let's say if I change this, I put it um, somewhere here. I just simply put it here as three. So let's see what will be happen. You found that the set precisions work for set precisions for two decimal point work for these three uh, variables. Okay, but when you go for this set precisions as three decimal points, then ice cream and total amount will be three decimal point. This is how we set it. Okay, so I remove this. Next, we go to the set width. And before we use the set width, let's go back to the slide and understand how it works first. The set width command or syntax is simple. Set W and then with the bracket, uh, with the parenthesis. Let's say we have a number of 20.25. Another number is 1128.17 and 123.5. So you must understand that in the computer memory, it is stored like this. It is stored like this, where 20.25 is 
um, data spaces at the back or there are some memories at the back and so on. So in order to arrange them, in order to arrange them, we can use set w. But what is the number here, integer inside the parenthesis? It will be depends on the largest number or the longest strings you have. So in this case, we have 1128.17. It used 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 spaces. So you may put 7, you may put 8. It's up to you, as long as it is longer than the maximum number. So I put 8 in my case. I set the width as 8. And what will be happen is, after you call for this set width for every output, or assign it uh, before the output, or, or you put it in front of the variables, then you will get something like this. 20.25, set width, it will move to the back, okay, 20.25. So how it counts, it will set 8 spaces for this number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 spaces, and then it will put the number from the back to the front. So this case is 52.02. Okay, so all of the um, integers or numbers that you have set with the width, it will just follow and arrange that automatically. Automatically. So end up the final result will be like this, something like this. Okay, so in order to apply this, you need a C out. C out, set the width, and what variables you want to call or what numbers. Okay, let's try for the coding part. In the coding part, we cannot just simply put a set width over here. It doesn't work. What we should do is we should put in front of the variable. Let's say donut. Donut, I want to set the width as uh, 8 probably. And then in front of muffin, we put one pin pin, we put another one and then ice cream and then total. So let's compile and run and see what will be happen first. You found that yes, it works fine, it works well. Set W gives spaces to the variables. You can see there are um, distance now. There is distance between each um, of these variables, Okay, but they are still not aligned accordingly. So why this happened? This happened because of here, the text that we see out before the variables. You found that, uh, I don't know how many characters over here, but definitely the end of the double cut is not aligned correctly. So what should we do is, you just have to make sure using space, um, increase the space so that they are aligned accordingly. And also for the last part is the total. Align it accordingly. So now with this, it should be able to, the program should be able to display what we want. Okay. Now it is lighted accordingly. So I hope um, this exercise will help you understand how to use the set width, set precisions, and the fix. Thank you for watching this video.